if you take a look at it, you can kind of uh, recognize something from a bygone era. In this case, this is going to have uh, a federal style or a Georgian style kind of wrapping around what was a Dutch farmhouse. And so you have to imagine going back uh, to about early to mid 1700s. No cars, no fences, no road signs, uh, pastoral setting in the background, farm animals of all sorts. Uh, and for that fact alone, uh, it's unique in New Brunswick. It's unique in mid-Atlantic urban centers as well to have one of these original dwellings still standing. And so thankfully in the past, someone decided that this, this building needed to be preserved. Uh, probably not from an architectural standpoint so much, but as the person who was born there, Joyce Kilmer, the poet. Uh, so when asked how does this memorial or this home compare to other New Brunswick historical monuments and memorials, uh, the Kilmer House is really unique. So I think of uh, the Nielsen statue downtown, Commercial Ave that was just renamed uh, Robeson Boulevard, uh, Bucklew Mansion and Bucklew Park, Christchurch, First Reformed Church, uh, Bassalone Bridge and the Good Kind Bridges, uh, and then all of the colonial architecture that still exists on Voorhees Mall, uh, on Rutgers campus, the USS Maine Monument, uh, a stone with a plaque with a cannon from Havana in front of St. Peter's Hospital, uh, are all significant historical markers in town. The Kilmer House is super unique because it not only features uh, architectural styles from the 1700s to the early 1800s, but it commemorates uh, the lifetime uh, or the birthplace of Joyce Kilmer who lived uh, until 1918. So it's more recent history and it's not only a war memorial, those who chose to preserve it uh, often have affiliations with uh, our veterans and veteran societies that make these decisions about what to preserve, but he's also known as a poet. Uh, and so Kilmer embodies two components of history, whereas our other uh, memorials in town usually follow one or the other, either uh, a war or a, a hero from a war or someone like Paul Robeson who uh, is more known for culture and activism. And Joyce Kilmer uh, encompasses both.